Good morning, St. Pius. Today is Monday, February 12th, 2024. Hopefully you had a great weekend and a congratulations to all of our Chiefs fans out there on your big Super Bowl win. We're celebrating a bunch of birthdays today. Happy birthday in kindergarten to Amelia Pickens, uh, and pre-K to Owen Cartwright, third grade for Cesa Ule, and Olivia Tardy. High today of 47 degrees, so still a, a somewhat warm day uh, before we get ready for possibly some snow moving in overnight. Hot lunch, we've got chicken dumplings or grab bag. After school clubs today, art, STEM, volleyball, and gaming. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to celebrate Valentine's Day, so we'll be having our Valentine's Day parties and our dress down days, so all you Chiefs fans can wear your uh, some red tomorrow. Uh, and, uh, and the reason we're celebrating Valentine's Day on the 13th on Tuesday is because the 14th is actually Ash Wednesday this year, um, and that is a day of fasting. So we're going to do our Valentine's Day party on Tuesday, and then we'll have our Ash Wednesday Mass on Wednesday morning. Spike shout out, um, you know, once again, our drama club, our cast and crew of Annie Jr., um, I attended the Sunday production. I was just blown away. Uh, you guys worked so hard. You guys should be very proud of yourselves, um, and I'm proud of you guys too. Nice job to our drama club. Jarius believed that Jesus could heal his daughter even when she was at the point of death. His faith was in stark contrast to the crowd who scolded him for bothering Jesus over what they thought was a lost cause. As we see many times in his ministry, Jesus rewarded tremendous faith and performed a miracle, not just of healing, but of resurrection. This miracle is a sign for all of us. God sees our faith and rewards it. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Then one of the leaders of the synagogue came, and when he saw Jesus, fell at his feet, and begged him repeatedly, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, so she may be made well and live. Some people came from the leader's house to say, Your daughter is dead. Why trouble the teacher any further? Jesus said to the leader of the synagogue, do not fear, only believe. When Jesus had entered, he said to them, The child is not dead, but is sleeping. And they laughed at him. Then went in. Then he went in where the child was. He took her by the hand and said to her, Little girl, get up. And immediately the girl got up and began to walk about. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Think about this today. How can you show your faith in God? In the gospel reading today, we hear the faith uh, of the synagogue leader who believed that Jesus could help his daughter when no one else did. How can you have faith and believe in God's plan for you today? And let us stand in prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, I know a lot of you guys have been asking to see Cam, and unfortunately the Super Bowl it just went way too late. It's way past his bedtime, uh, but here's Cam uh, watching the Super Bowl uh, yesterday. All right, let's have a great Monday, everyone. Here we go.